think of Oliver Bonk in the games? What have you seen out of him uh, in camp? There was a Briere quote today, Bonk could have a look, which a lot of people have been like, why not give him the nine games? And it sounds like he's open to maybe carrying eight defensemen. In my mind, that means, yeah, Eric Johnson is seven. Right. Or he's eight. And like Ronnie Adderd, who... Yeah, why not carry yeah. him? He's no longer waiver exempt. No longer waiver so exempt. So if he has a good camp, they're yeah. incentivized to keep him rather than risk losing him. If he has a good camp. Yeah. Um, talking about Bonk, though. Yeah. He only played in the one the one rookie game. He played Friday, not Saturday. Yeah. So we didn't get two games to look at him, just the one. I thought he was fine. I didn't think he was incredible. He didn't pop the same way that Luchenko did, for example. Yeah. Obviously, Mitch caught pop because he's Mitch He's Mitch He's very I thought good. Luchenko popped. <laughs> Luchenko, you noticed him every time he was on the ice. Bonk was fine. I, I don't. I don't remember any notably bad plays. Yeah. But I don't think he, you know, exerted his authority on the game the same way that Lushenko did. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. No, that was uh, like yesterday. We touched on Spencer Gill, who I might want to talk a little bit more about today. And it okay. was like, I get why the Flyers are like, oh, he's promising. It might be a little bit. He's clearly not a finished product. But there's something there where he might be more than just like what we think Igor Zamul is ultimately going to be right. like, oh, I'd be fine. Six or seven. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he's an NHL player. Yeah, sure. Like Spencer Gill might be a top four defenseman. And I saw why, right. You know, and it was like, it wasn't great. It wasn't perfect. It was just like, there's, there's something here. There's a reason why I rank Spencer Gill yeah. in my top 10. He didn't make the list yeah. in the top 10, but he made my top 10. I'm quite high. And on like him. Hunter McDonald was, Comical to me. Like, I, he was fine. Uh, wasn't great defensively, like we said, but I, I was just really entertained that anytime anyone touched a Flyers line mate when he was on the ice, they then had some physical yes. retribution taken out on them. Yes. That was noticeable. Mm -hmm. I didn't, like, yeah, I was sitting behind him for two periods, so I, like, saw the back of his jersey and saw it was bonk, but that was the only time he stood out. I would say. Yeah. I, I thought it was an unspectacular game. Not a bad game. Yeah. Just unspectacular. What I will say about Bong, this is what I've heard. I've heard that I don't think he's going to make this team. I think he would have to have a great camp to make this team. However, I've heard that, like, if there's fans obviously want the shiny new toy. Yeah. Another guy who I get the sense likes the shiny new toy in this case is John Tortorella. Like, Torts, I've heard is more open than most in the organization to the idea of having Bonk stick around for a few games. He really uh, likes it. Hell, he's got to be sitting there like, and I know, like, or what, are we going to play him in the bumper? Yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> like, he's got to be sitting there like, look at my power play. Yeah. I want my friend Rocky to remain employed. What, what, what is Oliver Bonk going to make our power play worse? <laughs> he can't possibly. Yeah. It cannot be worse than 12%. Um, don't, don't challenge him. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, mathematically, what, like, 12% is... You score more than that at five on five, <laughs> like in the amount of time. So you, you would you would think like, oh, he's got to be, he would make it better. But also, and look at this defense. Yes, we there's makings of a good defense here, maybe. But also, like, uh, are any of these guys spectacular? No, Oliver Bonk might be really good. Who knows? I can see why he thinks that. I would tend to believe, though, a wow, this dude who we didn't have pegged to make the team makes it starts with a standout rookie game right and uh, like that's why we're like oh, maybe Chet yeah, about, you know? Chet? Chet? maybe probably not but maybe but like oliver bonk no i didn't see that yeah he could kill it at camp you and then there know. you go yeah. but i don't think he has that momentum building already i would agree what i will say though against that is they really like him Okay. And there yeah. are things about his game, like they really like the subtleties of Oliver Bonk's game, so they may be more impressed watching him than we were because we were more looking for the flashy, you know, did he make plays with the puck? Yeah. Did he, you know, engineer breakouts very well? Was he the center of the action? What they like about Bonk more is the subtleties of his game. They like all the little things he does, and maybe they noticed a lot of the little okay. things that they think he did well, possibly. I'm just saying that, like, I equate their view, based on the people I've talked to in the organization, I equate their view of Oliver Bonk to be similar to what their view a couple years ago was of Tyson Forrester. And we had this okay. conversation on this show a couple times, or and on BSH, that I always said the Flyers are much higher on Tyson Forrester than I am. 
I see an NHL player. I talk to people in the organization, like when I say, you guys don't have any high-end players, and they'll be like, well, we got Tyson Forrester. And I'm just like, high-end? Really? Well, last year, he looked like he could be. So maybe they're right on Bonk, too. Like, and that's, they have acknowledged, like, oh, yeah, Bonk's scoring number's cool, but that's not why we drafted right. him. It's other stuff. And if it translates, then we have, like, a first pair defense. Yeah. Um, but it's other stuff that we like about him. And Tyson Forster, it looks like they were right. Exactly. Like, yeah, you drafted him at 20. Yeah. Uh, was it 20, 21, Something somewhere like in there? That, yeah, in, in the that 20s. Range. I in think it was 20. Early 20s. Yeah, whatever it was. And it's like, all right. We think, though, he's a top half of the first round guy. We think he might be a top 10 guy. Mm -hmm. And we got lucky. I don't know, 20 goals as a rookie, the advanced metrics were freaking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yep. when it, he's like, oh, he's like the best defensive forward in hockey. You know? like, <laughs> what a uh, Yeah, and like, he was like top five on some yeah. lists. Like, yeah. he was really freaking good. So uh, maybe they are good at unearthing these guys later than and seeing the subtleties in their game. Maybe that's Oliver Bond. We shall see. Uh, anyway, I would agree with you. I, I Though I do not think he's going to make this team out of camp, nor get the nine game audition but given how much they love him that's the main reason why i can't rule it out completely and we'll see about risto see allegedly about risto. healthy but i'll again believe it when i see it well, we'll find and out that's on thursday a, huh? that's a right shot defenseman right there yeah. <laughs>